Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Do you have enough clients? If the answer is yes, kindly skip this video. It's not for you. But if you are like me and my friend who is looking to get more clients, you better stick around. So today we are going to look at how you can get more clients using cold email marketing uh, platform. So I'm going to walk you through step by step from the beginning to the end. And it's going to be simple and straightforward. So we're going to jump into it. So these are the several steps that um, you're going to encounter in your journey. The first step is you need to have an email marketing system. And for you to have this setup, you need a VPS and a domain. And where you can get that is, as always, I always recommend email belt. So if you come to email belt, here you're going to get the VPS and uh, the domain. So if you come here, you're going to see the VPS. I always recommend going for this SSD3 and above. And then you can also get uh, a domain. So if you, come, if you come to home here, you'll be able to select your domain and then you're going to search for it and see if it's available. And then you can be able to uh, buy it from there. Remember, you can be able to make payment via crypto. So it's quite simple and straightforward. The other thing that you need here is you need to have the setup done, the cold email marketing system. So if you buy a VPS for the 12 monthly package, you're going to get uh, the setup done uh, for free. But if you want month on month, it's going to be 199 one off payment. So let's go back to here. So you're going to order all of that. And once you have that, step one is done so email marketing system and what you're going to get as the delivery you're going to get something of this kind this is what you're going to get this is the system that has been done for you and you can just uh, click on login and then this is what this is how it looks you're gonna get into it in depth shortly right let's come back here the next thing that you need is you have your email marketing system ready. The other thing you need is uh, the reputation building. The other thing you need is an email list. The other thing is you need is uh, copywriting. And then the other thing you need is how to set up the campaign. And lastly, how to monitor. We're going to dive into this step by step. For step one, I feel we have uh, accomplished it. I've said you just come to email belt. You buy this plan, you buy a VPS here, and you buy a domain. So just going to register, it's quite simple, just like any other website whereby you register and do all of that and you'll be able to buy those items. And then what they are going to deliver to you is this one, as I've shown you here. So let's go to the next item is on reputation building. So once a system has been uh, created, this is a new system. It is not known by other email marketing providers. And so they always treat it with suspicion. And every time you send, uh, you send your campaign, chances are it's going to uh, be flagged if you have not built your reputation so what do you do when it comes to build, building reputation again we like keeping it simple instead of you bothering with all the technicalities i usually recommend just come to email belt again here and buy this package here it should be somewhere this one here buy this package if you have an unlimited email addresses or you only have one email address buy either of the two and this will be done for you you don't need to do anything about it and so what happens when it comes to reputation building so what happens during reputation building is a scenario whereby emails are sent from your system from your already set system here it's already done for you 
this is the delivery server or the SMTP done for you so you don't need to do anything about it so what happens here is emails are sent from that delivery server to a set of emails that are already predefined by email belt and so when emails are received by email belt by a system done by email belt it communicates with those emails it simulates a scenario whereby a person is sending and receiving an email so there is communication between your email address and the emails that email that has set up so you'll be receiving an email once in a while it will be opened it will be replied and one in case of any email lands in spam it is removed this happens without your intervention and you do not need to do anything about it you just need to know it is being done because you'll be seeing those emails coming in here as you can see today actually 45 minutes uh, ago an email was received and it was open in case any email lands in spam it is removed and taken to inbox so that's the essence of reputation building so for this one you do not need to do anything you just need to go get this package and it's done for you simple straightforward let's jump into the next one cleaning your email list this is a very important step what happens is over time emails do uh, go bad by going bad it means they are inactive or they are no longer in use or the the, uh, the domain that uh, was used to create those emails has already expired or anything of that kind so what happens is when you send email to non-existing emails what happens is they bounce and when emails bounce they affect the reputation of your sender this is why cleaning your email list is vital and so what do you need to do when it comes to email list so again email belt has a has a package for you in regards to um, cleaning your emails let me see mm, should be some yeah here we go verifier and it's one of the cheapest in the planet that you're going to come across 100 million credits or only 299 bucks i can tell you for sure you're not going to get this anywhere else so what happens here uh, once you buy any of this package you're going to receive uh credentials credentials where you're going to uh, clean your email list so it's gonna look something of this kind this is uh we have the dashboard we have the list validation i'm gonna click on um, uh, list validation for instance so that you see let me uh, log in again and don't forget that this is a very um email cleaning is is a very important step and one of the easiest way to know whether your list is good or is bad is by the number of emails if are bad in your email list for instance if you have an email list and out of uh, 100 emails over 50 emails are showing that uh, uh, they are non-existing -ex I can tell you for sure even the remaining 50 chances are you won't get much out of it so it shows you the quality this process also shows you the quality of your email list so if we come in here um, I want to go to once you log in come to list uh, validation once you go to list validation you'll be able to and you can also do quick validation but uh, we are in list validation assuming you have your emails in, um, in an excel so what happens here is i already have an email list here if 
first name and the email if you don't have uh, if you don't have if the email list doesn't have the name you can leave that that item vacant and then um, I want to download this as a CSV that way then I'm going to come to my list validation here I'm going to click on add list I'm going to choose file go to downloads here you go and then you're going to match first name and email and then you're going to hit on import you're going to receive this then i'm being told to refresh the page and then we'll be able to see uh, what is the status of your email list so i assume you won't have two emails only you will have quite a huge number of emails so and all of that will be able to be shown here and the kind of data you're going to receive is the total how many emails are valid how many are invalid how many are catch all what what is catch all email catch all email is an email box that is set up in such a way that um if for instance your domain is xyz Dot com and the email address was abc at xyz.com and you type in ab at xyz.com that email address will still uh, receive that email it is to ensure that any email address associated with that uh, domain if you make uh, probably an error in typing the email that you're still going to uh, receive that so and then we have unknown in this situation we have a scenario whereby the system is unable to define what kind of an email what kind of a classification will that email fall under so it is classified as unknown then we have skipped uh, skipped r in case the system does not um, skip skips an email for any reason you'll be able to see it here uh, syntax error these are emails that um, have an error in um, for instance if you type something like um, abc at uh, gmail.com the system will be able to detect that there is a syntax error disposable email these are short-term emails that are used for short-term purposes and um, for instance, there is um, a platform that uh, offers temporary email here. So, for instance, if you pick this one, it's gonna be classified. If you have such an email list in uh, uh, such an email in your list, it's gonna be classified as a temporary email or disposable email free accounts this is where we have um, the likes of yahoo the gmail and all of that and roll account this is basically an email like uh, support at abc.com or info those are considered roll account so once you have that you're going to hit on verify and then case it doesn't show if it's being processed you hit verify again till you see that um, your system is running so once the system finishes it will be able to show you uh, the categorization of your email you realize it takes um, some time for this process to happen and it's on purpose the reason why it takes a little bit uh, some time is to ensure the accuracy of your the accuracy of your list even as that continues we can be able to continue and look at um, the other parts 
the other part is on um, just a minute before we continue let's see if we should have it ready let me refresh this for two emails she didn't take take uh, a long period of time so we should have it ready and um, we can be looking at the next step we will be able to come back here so that we see the result so template or copywriting for this one you just need uh, remember you now have your platform you just need to come log into your platform and then you come on your left here you come to uh, templates templates and then click on create new and then you're gonna give it a name any name this is for identification purposes so there are a few items that you need to be uh, keen about when you are coming up with your when you're coming up with your template and even as you do that let's see if our email list is here yeah here you go our list has uh, been verified so one email is valid as you can see the other email is invalid so once you download download your download your list i only recommend only send email to the ones that are indicated as valid not on any other of these other categories only send to valid emails so you're gonna hit download so here you can say you can choose to uh, remove all of that or you can just choose the ones that are deliverable here you go choose deliverables and then you hit on uh, download our list is ready so we want to come back here to the platform and then we come to lists you create a new list give it a name this is for identification purposes this is not um, the client will not be able to see this so you can give it any name that you want so here should be single opt-in single opt-in no welcome nothing to do there and then you scroll down again just like I'm telling you, it's for identification purposes. You can uh, select any, any, anything here. Just anything. This is for your own um, identification purposes. So, and then you hit on save, and then you back to list. All right? It has an error. Let's see where the error is coming from. Uh, the error is coming from here available i'm being told that the following tag is required and was not found so i'm gonna add this tag here save changes back to list let's see the available tags yeah these are the ones that you need to add here so let me copy these ones remember that the client are, will not be able to see any of this so you don't have to worry about it right required perfect save changes and back to lists perfect so we have been able to add uh, to create our list so how do you add your list you just need to come here 
click on this icon and then import and then import csv okay so but i want to first check i want to first check the list we downloaded so let me upload it here prefer doing this online so let me upload it here i'm gonna open it to see this is the result the result of um, our verification so you don't need all of this so just remove all this delete uh, you already know that these are these are these are valid email you just need this this two only then you hit on file and then again download csv download it then once that is done you're gonna come to now your platform here remember you had already created this list here click on the icon click on the import csv choose file here you go upload it click on upload you'll be able to see um this thing keeps on keeps on running you'll see like it's running but in real sense the import process once you see the import process has finished you will know that you are your input process has finished so you if you come back to list here you will be able to see that the input process has finished it is one of one for your consecutive campaigns you may not need to create a new one you just need to duplicate so you come here and then you click on copy and then probably this is the one all you need to just do is uh, click on update maybe you call it list 17 and then back to list you have a new list now and then again the same process of importing you come here then you click on import you import via csv so that's how you add a list that is the first step of running your campaign adding your list the second one let's go to uh, templates we are at templates create new this is a template you can call it any name and so that we don't lose track of our process is uh, let's come back here we are at um, uh, template right so here we have the list cleaning and uh, adding it um, to mailwiz this is the this is what we call mailwiz what you are seeing this platform is what we call mailwiz so you have already done that um, so where we are at this process of creating uh a copy or the template so you want to come here and um, this is the message that you want to send out and there are a few notes there are a few notes that you may want to check again you may want to check them from email belt here because they are very important one of the items that determine how successful your campaign will be is on the message that you send so these are the things you need to avoid or to include in your message the first one is avoid using images i don't need to say anything about that so keep your email short extremely brief as well uh, fewer than 150 words so ensure that your email is fewer than 150 words again the second one is limit the number of links if possible i usually say do not have any link in your campaign if you have to 
try to only have one link. Again, I've said keep your emails brief, extremely brief. The other point here is avoid repeating the same email in, uh, in follow-ups. So when you're doing, if you want to do a follow-up campaign, don't send the same email as you had sent previously. So avoid that. Again, maintain a grade five reading level. Your level, or I mean, your English should be very minimal. You shouldn't use high level English. Again, you need to avoid spam uh, triggering words. These are words that uh, have been known to uh, to trigger spams. Words like sale, offer, discount, and all of that. So avoid spam triggering words. The other thing is don't push for a sale in the first email. Another mistake that I see a lot of people making. Don't push for a sale in your first email. This is a person who does not know you. So the first email should be about establishing a rapport and then probably them reaching out to you to know more about what you have to offer. But don't push for a sale in the first email. Again, avoid HTML uh, emails. Avoid HTMLs. That's the reason why we are going to only come up with uh, going to only come up with a text only text only template. Alright. This again, these are the other things that you need to yeah, no, not necessarily related to the template, but uh, use complementary emails. Uh, this is a situation where if your domain is like vin.com, uh, you may want to you may want to use um, number one is avoid using primary domain email for your cold email. If for instance your domain is vin.com. Use something like vin.net all.org. I usually recommend .com, .net, all.org. But do not use your primary domain for cold emails. Right. So, again, avoid using a liar's account. This is, these are must accounts. So, just avoid using that. Again, use spin tax. As we are going to see, this is also a very important feature in your messaging. The other thing is uh, test different copies. Don't. Um, how will you know if one message is more successful than the other if you don't send different uh, uh, copies? So test your different copies. Again, uh, set up DKM, MX, and SPF. This is already. This has already been done for you. So by the time you're buying the system, that is already done for you and you won't be able to do um, There's no need of you doing anything about it. Something that I've just noted, you see, these are emails that are keeping on building reputation that I've popped in. So just wanted to mention that. So build reputation of your domains. And that is exactly what we are seeing here. That your domain will keep on receiving these emails meant for uh, creating, for building the reputation. This one is already done for you. You don't need to do anything DKM, DMAC, SPF and all of that. And you can actually check in this platform here. If you come here, you can check um, uh, maybe something like, you can click on this. You can say, let me check uh, D DKM. You can click on DKM lookup. You just DKM. Let me see, it's saying DKM not published. Let me see. a minute just a minute dkm lookup 
and then SPF record lookup. Let's see. These are already set up. I don't know why the, this platform is not showing, but you don't have to worry about this. These are already done and you don't need to do anything. You see like SPF is already here. Even DKM has already uh, been done. You don't need to do anything about it or worry about it. All right, so we were at this point, um, building reputation again, limit the emails that you're sending on daily basis. And one of the ways that uh, I usually recommend that is um, fewer than an email, 100 emails account. So what I usually do with this one is, um, sorry to digress a little, is when you come to delivery server here, uh, I usually recommend this bit. This section here is in microseconds. You will find it as 300 million microseconds. This is equivalent to five minutes. What that means is an email will be sent out after every five minutes. So you don't need to do anything about this part of the system. So an email will always be sent out after every five minutes hope that is um clear so when you're running a campaign this is already preset this is the from name that they are going to receive and this is the email address that they are going to see again something else that you may need uh, to note here is reply to email you can change this what this means is remember you have you you bought a new domain for cold email you dedicated a domain for cold email but then when the replies come in case there is, there is any reply you want to take that customer to your main email main business email address uh, assuming your main business email address is something like support at uh, virtualinsight.com so that is where in case any reply a reply comes back you're going to collect it from your main domain email address that is why we have this there okay so let's let's see a few tips here uh randomize email sending uh we're going to see this as well uh gradually increase the email increase the email volume how do you increase the email volume you're going to be reducing this after every week reduce with a zero after every week reduce with a zero so uh, there you go and then um, always use unsubscribe um, unsubscribe text instead of link um, Maybe something like, please respond with not even interested if this is not for you. This, this approach is good because it increases your reply and also improves your, uh, improves your deliverability. So set up custom domain tracking. This is not necessarily needed. Um, you can also set up do not contact this is at least for people who have unsubscribed always ensure that uh, you don't send an email to them again because this is they are going to blacklist you so you may want to avoid um, this again avoid sending emails to personal emails so that is simple and straightforward so that is a much about um, some guidelines that I wanted to bring to your attention. But um, let's go back to the platform and set up a template. So one of the things we have noted is you need to have spin tags. So how do you create spin tags? You come to available tags and then you look for random content. random content here here you go random content you highlight 
and copy and then you bring it here paste so you'll have something like hey hello hey greetings or something of that kind and then you come to the second uh, the, the, the second message and and you, this is where creativity is needed when you're coming up with your messaging and there's no one fit all uh, when it comes to writing a message but you need to be very creative when you're coming up with, um, with the message for instance uh, you could say something like um, so that we'll test it this is uh, so that you're in real estate this is for argument sake alternatively i can so that we save on time let's check one that i have done previously let's check a message let's pick a message that we've done previously so that we can uh, save on some time so if you come to template here and then you come to this This is how this is how your message will be looking like should look like template so this is just one sentence but it has 10 variations one sentence 10 variations so how do you get these variations you get these variation using chat gpt uh, you can actually just come to chat gpt here you tell it create 10 variations of this sentence and separate with uh, a, this sign pipe sign with no gap before and after the pipe sign let's see what we get there you go you can have 10 variations and you can have 20 the more the better i recommend 20 30 fair enough but you need to check they are lying to what you're looking for just a quick update here are some quick updates just a couple of quick reminders all of that this they mean the same thing uh, from a grammar perspective but from a systems perspective this will be seen as different uh, sentences so that's how you uh, come up with your come up with your uh, sentences or your template you have to ensure it is on um, it is uh, text message no HTML and I usually like asking a question I think it's very vital because when you ask a question you're prompting a reply and that is the whole point of a campaign you may want to prompt for a reply unless probably you want them to visit a starting link maybe you're not planning to have uh, you're not planning to have maybe a meeting or something of that kind so but i usually recommend prompt a question so 
And then the last thing that you need to have is um, a subscribe link. So you can check unsubscribe link here. And then copy it like that. Ensure that a maximum of three sentences. So you can have sentence two and uh, sentence three. And then you have the, the signature something like regards so and so because this is for the greetings this introduction this 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 and then the signature and the subscribe link so you can highlight this and ensure it is font 14 you can choose um maybe georgia size 14 size 14 is the normal uh, the normal email that we receive this is the normal font of emails so and then you can hit on save changes so you've already saved changes the other thing is um so you have now you have your list ready you have your template ready you have already set the delivery server so your delivery server is ready and by ready i mean it is sending after every five minutes when you're starting out you don't need to do anything about this bit now it's time to run a campaign you come to run campaigns create new give it a name this is for identification purposes select your list you have uh, list 16 don't need to do anything about this save and next um the subject line again you can have uh you should have random content in the subject line there's a site called uh, said check it this site here said check it.com you can always check uh, the sub how good is the subject line test 94 points you should have uh, anything above 90 anything above anything less than that it's a bad one and the normal check this offer i'm sure you are familiar with that so these are the kind of subject lines you need to avoid you see 59 points so a subject line that has a question is usually works really well so that is something you need to consider and then um, save and next you've already done your template so you click on change or select template you come here select template you have your template ready save and next you don't need to do anything here save changes and hit on send campaign and your campaign will be sent out so once your campaign is sent out um, actually let me hit send you will be able to see statistics here so and now that takes me to the last bit that i've mentioned here monitoring you need to be monitoring your campaign to know how it's doing if for instance you notice that the bounce rate is very high just know you need to do something about it if um, if the open rate is uh, very low and by low i mean probably you're getting one percent automatically you will know that your campaign is landing in spam so uh, basically you need to keep on monitoring and uh, making the necessary adjustment and again remember we talked about testing in case you realize that this one is um, maybe a certain template is performing better than the other change to that one and keep on checking if there is anything check your domain if it is um, if your domain is um, uh, listed or not if it is not listed and by listed i mean uh blacklisted 
if it's black if it's not blacklisted you know you're doing good in case you're blacklisted probably uh it's time to have a fresh setup basically that's how you run your campaign and uh, i believe that uh, this has been insightful um don't forget you can always um, reach out via email in case you need uh, something clarified and also you may want to watch out a video you've done in regards to running sms marketing as well because it is insightful as well so that's all i would have wanted to say in regards to uh, this thank you and um, don't forget to check out our other videos see you on the next one